So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, anodizing. What is anodizing? Okay. So, so if we can define anodizing, oh, so it's like it is a process of forming a thick oxide layer, thick oxide layer on the surface of a metal. Or most uh, importantly, this anodizing actually we'll be talking about aluminium. So we'll be generally re referring to aluminium. So it's also okay if you if you write aluminium instead of this metal in this definition okay so let us see how this uh, let us take aluminium and see how this aluminium oxide is formed so the general equation can be like okay aluminium reacting with oxygen to form Al2O3 okay so this will be the general reaction so we want this aluminium oxide so this is the uh, setup for that Okay, we are taking aluminium. This is the aluminium. We are taking it in the anode. Anode is because this is a positive terminal and this is negative terminal. And we need a cathode. Cathode, you can take anything like uh, steel, uh, graphite, etc. And anode, we are taking aluminium. So this is the aluminium. This is our aluminium rod. Okay, so electricity is passed through this setup. So a series of reactions and have can happen okay so here what the solution we are taking is dilute h2so4 in aqueous soil aqueous medium because that that means there is water in it okay okay so there are different things and different reactions can happen so let us take h2so4 and see the reaction so it can split into h plus and so4 minus right so4 2 minus 2 h plus and there is also water in this setup so that can also split when electricity is passed, it will split into H plus plus or H minus, right? And this H plus ions uh, can go to this uh, cathode because that is negative and there is electrons and this H plus can go to H plus can go to this uh, negative terminal and they can combine to form H2 gas. Okay. And what about the other one? SO4 will be staying in the solution as such. Okay. SO4 will be staying as solution. And about this OH minus, OH minus can react to form H2O plus O2 gas releasing or low 2 gas plus 4 electron. Okay, this is one reaction that can be formed because of OH minus ion. And again, the O2 that is formed can react with 4 electron to form O2 minus. Okay, so this is the general reactions that is going to um, happen. We have got oxide ions. So, this oxide ions will react with aluminium for, to form this aluminium oxide. We know Al oxide ion. The charge is plus 3. Here it is minus 2. By uh, crossing this, we can found, find out the compound like Al2O3. So, oxide is formed. So, here we are writing O2 also, but still that is fine. So you don't have to write all these equations in your, uh, for example, in your 10th grade if it is asked. You just need to write oxygen gases evolved that can react with aluminum to form aluminum oxide. Or you can just write aluminum oxide that is formed will react with aluminum to form aluminum oxide. And you need to remember this set. So this is the anodizing procedure of uh, aluminum.